Welcome to Wild World News. Hi, some of them bitches. Um, a thousand of y'all sent me this link about the guy who fell asleep on the plane. Can't download the video. I looked for the same video on YouTube and I couldn't find it. So uh, let's see what we can see here. Uh, I'll post a link in the description so you can watch it with me. Found it? Click it? Let's do it. That baggage handler who fell asleep inside of an airliner's cargo hold forces the plane to make an emergency landing. He's now telling his side of the story in an ABC News exclusive. Neil Karlinski has the details. Willa Jr. is America's most infamous baggage handler, speaking out this morning in an ABC News exclusive about the nap that forced a 737 to make an emergency landing. He's fired. In the cargo, I was exhausted, so I dozed off. He says he woke when a bag fell on his head. Pitch black. All I could hear was the engines going. It felt like the plane was like ascending, like going up. And in my mind, I was just like, this is not happening. I thought it was a joke. He grabbed his cell phone and tried the company, but they thought he was a prank caller. So he called 911. But the call cut out. So he started banging away at the ceiling so loud you could hear it inside the cabin above him. Willis says he thought he might die in there. The last thing I uh, text was, I love you to my mom. So I thought I was going to die. You really did. Yeah. I don't know but why. How exactly did he fall asleep in the first place? Willa is still more than a little vague about that. I mean, when I first started a job, we, we, we take naps. A week later, he's still employed, but expects that might soon change. And he says he's learned a lesson. Don't throw those off on planes, even though the job is hard, you know, stressful. They just desperate for news? Learn from my mistake. For Good Morning America, this is what they... ABC News, Seattle. You know what this is, right? This is some uh, more uh, glorified uh, nigga shit. This motherfucker fell asleep on the job and woke up in the cargo bay. I don't even know why y'all want me to see this. I really don't. I, this is this is ignorant, and I'm wondering why it's even on the national news. No, I don't wonder why. I don't. Because anytime you can find some black person that did some ignorant, and yes, he's black as far as I'm concerned. He ain't white. He's black as far as I'm concerned. He look like he's Simone or something. Um, that's some nigga shit. That's, anytime they can get somebody black to say something dumb, to do something dumb on TV, this is what's going to happen. <laughs> nah, man, you wasn't going to die. You was just going to get dropped off in Venezuela or wherever the plane was going. God damn. Post your comments down below and let me know what y'all think. Hey, and I get it. You and Badges claim, you know, you, you, you lifting bags all day. And I get it. That's manual labor. That's tough. I've done it. I was a workhorse for Pepsi Cola, baby. Strong workhorse. I was solid. I was big, strong as hell. Any guy that's a mover know exactly what I'm talking about. And I get it. You get tired. But I sleep in my damn car on my lunch break. <laughs> Not in the car. <laughs> You know how tired he had to be to fall asleep on the plane? I'm I'm really surprised they didn't fire him. I'm serious. But like maybe naps are a policy. You get like a half hour time to doze off and relax. I don't know. Post the comments down below and let me know what you think. One million subscribers. Woo!